Hey guys, and welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Now, if you're someone who enjoys talking about film, or in this case, some TV series, then consider hitting that subscribe button. After eight episodes, season one of Nine Perfect Strangers has come to an end, and we are here to talk about it. Now, you can find this um, series currently on Hulu. Again, there are eight episodes. I don't know if this is something that's going to be renewed for a second season. I really don't see it being renewed I'm not sure um it is based off of a book by the same name the writer of this book is actually the same writer who did Big Little Lies which does have an HBO uh, series as well there are two seasons of that on HBO um I absolutely love 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 that particular um series I did listen to a uh, big a little lies so y'all know i am a big audible lover i have not listened to this particular book so i can't do the comparison here now just as in big little lies nicole kimmon is also part of this big ensemble here as you would have seen on the fact sheet the um enormous cast that it does have and um, now we are again dealing with nine strangers now for it to be called nine perfect strangers it's kind of a little bit of a stretch seeing that we do have quite a few people coming in as a group uh, we're gonna start off with my least favorite characters so we're starting off with Samara Weaven and Melvin Gregg who play Ben and Jessica they are a married couple uh very much having marital issues now they have really no purpose I feel in this show to be honest with you um this is going to be a spoiler uh, review recap I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna be calling I'm probably just gonna be calling it a review but I think I'm gonna be oh you know what it's gonna be more of a, of a general recap so there are gonna be spoilers so Ben and Jessica really endless series had no point I feel like they're just the young couple to I guess intrigue the younger viewers uh, Ben is somebody who won, won the lottery and just pretty much gave up on all his dreams because he is now rich from lotto money but he feels like he really can't do anything else i guess because he's won the lottery i don't know jessica is the influencer here the one who cares about her looks the one that is very vain but really there's no particular reason i feel for them like they're really useless throughout the whole uh eight episodes i feel like they had like the least character development throughout throughout it we'll get to their overall outcome from everybody once we get a little further along then we have luke evans who plays lars he is the reporter he's here to investigate of what's um happening here in triquillum um because there was a death prior to their arrival and of course he knows um he is very much the asshole here that's really all i have to say <laughs> He had, I guess, more use compared to Ben and Jessica because, again, he was a reporter, so he was there for a job. And even though he, I guess, deep down was still trying to find out what he really wanted in life, you know, he, of course, loved his boyfriend, and he ends up finding out that he does really want a kid with him, which was the main reason why they ended up breaking up because he, Lars, didn't want a kid, but then while they're there, certain situations, he dreams that he actually gives birth to a kid and kind of you know overall at the end changes his mind and again we'll get to their outcome um later on now the boyfriend doesn't come on but we do see him in a memory flashback i think we see him at some point i think it was a memory but it is just a lars there and then we have regina hall who plays carmella crazy ass very much having anger issues carmella ultimately we do find out that she's there for revenge i mean mind you from here on out i do like the characters more those other three the uh, they're just really were useless but carmella at the end does kind of serve a purpose her outcome i really wasn't a fan of either i'm just like really but we'll get again to that later um then we have melissa mccarthy who plays francis she is a writer she is a famous writer who does just I guess like love stories or whatever but she's somebody who doesn't ever put her characters in her book with any real conflict she even says that she takes care of them they're her kids and nobody ever really gets hurt nobody ever nothing like really terrible happens and if it does it gets resolved very quickly she always has that kind of happily ever after which i think might have something to do with the ending i have 
maybe like two theories about the how this show ended overall and Francis book writing has and you know it's part of it it's one of it and then we have Bobby Cannibal Cannibal in whatever yeah I know this guy uh, he plays a Tony and now he is the ex athlete he was a great football player back in his time but he did have an injury that took him out of the game and then into um prescription drug abuse and alcohol and basically putting his life into shambles and this is why he's at this tranquil in place to try to have some zen and you know kind of fight himself i guess for the most part also some anger issues doesn't have a relationship with his um family with his daughters but i do like where his character ended up um as well like his character development also did um go like and his, his acting was one of the top tier acting but the next three that i have i'm kind of gonna put them as a whole and we'll get to that here in a bit in case you're not familiar with the show and my favorite were definitely the marconi family who consists of dad michael shannon who absolutely killed it in this row he for sure was the standout he does play napoleon the wife um asher kitty or Ketty, who plays heather and then the daughter grace van Patten, who plays zoe now they are a very grieving lost depressed this all the emotions of family after the loss of their son or their twin brother zach um he did unfortunately uh commit suicide and of course the family is just kind of dealing but not really dealing with their issues and i really do love the overall kind of like outcome with them but of course we have the workers and lila and yao now if you've seen the good place jason florida guy right that he was trying to be like a monk or whatever he acted like he was a monk well i guess you can say he's kind of reached his monk status here <laughs> um he is very like here <laughs> yes definitely when you see him i was just like Jason, is that you? Of course, we have the healing magic of Masha, who is played by Nicole Kidman with a not so great Russian accent. But she is, of course, again, very like Zen, very, we're going to um, help you with your problems and you're going to leave here very happy. We're going to get all those problems and issues, you know, just like flushed away. Also, the promise that she made at the beginning could also be part of how the ending of this uh, series went, which is again another theory of mine. So we are in a very fancy, fancy little like spa retreat. Again, we're trying to like come at peace get rid of the negativity just kind of like cleanse our souls uh let go of grief let go of loss just like what you would do at a spa retreat i don't know i've never been to a spa retreat <laughs> i don't got money like that everybody of course is coming to this spa for one reason or another and little do they know that some of the unknowing treatment plans here is that they get basically drugged without them knowing well they find out very quickly that they are getting drugged by like the third um episode now mind you everything is done very safely when they got there they had some blood work done so they have their levels of how much they're able to basically like dose them and what's safe for each individual person they say don't be drinking each other's smoothies because everything is set specifically for your type and i'm not gonna lie I wouldn't mind taking a smoothie like that because they were seeing pretty like cool and happy not really like tripping hard like i feel like i could actually take this without panicking like have in the past when i have tried drugs if they're just not for me because it's a good thing right uh but if i could do like this where it's actually proportioned for like my body where it it won't like have me like have a panic attack like whenever like i've smoked cannabis so masha is really trying to reach over to the other side to this other plane to this other world and bring the lost loved ones back to reconnect to have a relationship to 
say your goodbyes to have some sort of closure in Masha's case we do end up finding out that she has actually lost um, a daughter she's trying to use these hallucinates these psychedelic drugs in a very safe and controlled an environment now we also find out something about Masha's past uh, which includes somebody shooting her and that's kind of how she ended up finding out that you can reach out into this other world and and see the those that we have lost um, so come to find out that the one that shot her was none other than crazy ass Carmela we have like this whole reveal happening but I don't like the way the reveal happened because Masha was under the um, influence she had t uh, taken these psychedelic drugs to kind of go on this journey on this um, trip or whatever with the McConey family to reach out to Zach. I would have preferred for her to have been in her like right head of mind without the cloudiness of being on drugs and honestly at the end well again we'll get to the overall outcome of each individual character here shortly there's really no consequence for her. I mean, she did forgive her and everything, I get it. At the end of the day, because uh, Carmela did shoot her, made uh, Masha see her daughter, which then made her change her life and then make Tranquillum. And she does say that to her, because of you, because of what you did to me, this place now exists. So I forgive you and I allow you to forgive yourself. Let's just go ahead and, and wrap this up um, towards, you know, the ending of each individual character. <sighs> Again, Ben, we're just going to get Ben and Jessica out the way. Uh, with their lottery money, they ended up uh, buying Tranquilla. I don't feel like they would drive me properly. I would definitely uh, overdose her for real, for real, like, have this major, major trip. Because, like, mm. I will be like napoleon which is michael shannon he does have like a he starts panicking him you know for a moment i'm like man i, I totally understand what you're going with but then he comes back he's got like zach brings him back you know like snow bleeds and everything and he went kind of crazy he killed the goat you guys he was like Ur. like killed the goat uh because they were hunting and they had to like survive off the land and there was this goat and they were hungry and they were on drugs were they on drugs? Yes, they were on drugs at that point as <laughs> well. It was crazy, you guys. Uh, Carmela, no consequences, mind you. Mosh finds out that she's the one that attempted to kill her. Was trying still, like, torturing her while they were there at Tranquillum and doing other stuff and dangerous. Attacked her multiple times, but, you know, didn't call no cops. There was no consequence for her. And she actually ends up, she ends up forgiving herself. And she actually ends up being like this counselor and is counseling and helping um, other uh, women with, um, I guess, similar circumstances. Maybe minus the attempted murder. I mean, who knows? They probably did as well. Then we have Francis and uh, Tony. They actually, as much as they hated each other, I know I didn't say that at the beginning of the video. But again, it's like a quick recap not really like uh, 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 because this wasn't supposed to be a recap it was supposed to just be a review uh but yeah Francis and Tony as much as they hated each other at the beginning of the series absolutely despised each other as each day was passing like I don't know these eight days I think it was eight days could have been more could have been less they ended up basically uh forming a friendship and then ended up forming like a love interest between each other and basically at the end they ended up together Lars Lord totally skipped over him before <laughs> Uh, he probably might be my least favorite. I don't know you guys. Did he really even learn anything? I guess so. He learned he wanted a kid. So him and his boyfriend. I don't know. Maybe they got married at this point. I don't know. They have a baby. That's it. We pretty much skip over them really quickly. Um, the Marconi family, they had their closure. They were able to connect with Zach um, there at the end when everybody was like tripping. Um, they actually got to see him all together as a family because again, they were on this journey. They're, they got their closure um, as far as forgiving themselves because everybody had their reasons why they were blaming each other that if they had just done this if they hadn't put snooze if they had just talked then they would have you know stopped him from doing this they were able to say goodbye it was very very emotional 
You know your girl cry, because I always cry. I'm a very emotional person when it comes to movies and stuff. Masha, she did um, end up uh, connecting to her daughter. She was like the last one um, there at the end after Zach and everything happened. And she was able to kind of hold the baby before the police came because Delilah ended up calling the police on them because she was just not in agreement with how much she was drugging them and the extent that they were going. And she was thinking it, well, she was saying it was too dangerous. Um, again, I know I bypassed a lot of stuff. She just got on my, on my nerves um, as the story was progressing. I mean, she has good reason. Somebody did die prior and that really kind of messed with her mind and everything like that. But you should have left the job at that particular point. Why did you stick around? And then now you're doing this. But whatever, Masha didn't end up going to jail. Like she went in for questioning, but everybody was like, you know, I wish we would have gotten more of that because the final episode was really pretty much rushed as we're trying to wrap up all everybody's stories. They're at the end as far as my overall theories. Actually, you know, before we get there, <laughs> if you haven't already, go ahead and give this video a like. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Don't forget to hit the notification bell so you'll be notified each time that I post something new. If you guys actually prefer for me to just do movie reviews, let me know down below because I really don't want to be doing something that you don't want to see. But if you are enjoying these uh, reviews, recaps, just let me know down below love because i do plan on doing also owning murders in the building which is another hulu uh, show and then of course um once we do get into probably like november december i do plan on finishing up um money heist um series because we did stop at two and then we're gonna continue with the rest um later on in the year so as far as my theories go um another thing i missed <laughs> and tony and francis actually end up leaving their tranquilum to go on a date at the four seasons and she's actually kind of like writing a story she gets inspired so at the end of the day you guys everybody everybody has a happy ending so a theory <laughs> Could this be like a happy ending as far as Frances writing the story and this is kind of like her happy ending that she's writing for everybody as she does do for her books? Could this just be something that she did as far as a happily ever after or the the peace of mind, the 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 change that Masha did promise them again earlier when when they first arrived that everything's gonna be good you're gonna leave you're gonna be happy and blah 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 so could this just generally be the outcome of the retreat that everybody you know was like oh i'm good tony again one of my favorite characters him and michael shannon were absolutely wonderful they were honestly my favorite ones um uh, character of development and everything went on um this retreat really did help him out because again he was dependent on prescription drugs and they were actually able to win him off of those and he left this place clean and happy and was able to get a relationship with um his daughters and again a relationship with francis they do like i said earlier end up together masha you know is like going on into the sunset with her dead daughter in ben and jessica's lamborghini nine perfect strangers was decent enough i don't think it's something that you have to like rush to go and check out like oh my god you must see this no 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 i think it's worth you putting on your to watch list um if you happen to have hulu especially since all eight episodes are now out for your entertainment again has a wonderful wonderful ensemble um some of these characters well most of the characters actually do get really really great character development within the story some of them again are just useless just why are you there mind you i love me some samara weaving and then we also get her iconic i find it iconic her scream like she has this like very specific scream that i <laughs> i like i don't know she's like perfect for like horror movies and stuff i guess like overall i will give nine perfect strangers a medium popcorn have you seen like perfect strangers let me know down below what did you think about it did you like it did you love it did you hate it was it just not for you have you read the book or if you're an audible lover like myself not sponsored audible doesn't even know that i exist but i would love to one day hopefully fingers crossed you know from my mouth to jesus ears to audibles <laughs> stuff that i would get sponsored by them because i would absolutely love it I always talk about them well whenever it's appropriate within the video as is it this one <laughs> um let me know like what did you think about the book i have heard that the book is pretty much the same as the story like it wasn't like a great book and that actually the the series is better than the book so i don't know let me know down below all right guys that's it for me today until next time i'll see you guys at concessions bye mm -hmm.